Hello, my name is Glenn Ellis, Vice President of Marketing and Dealer Operations for Hino Trucks. And on behalf of all the Hino Trucks employees, I would like to thank you for making a conscious effort to purchase one of the cleanest, most economical vehicles in your new Hino 195H. Your 195H diesel electric hybrid is the culmination of over 20 years of Hino hybrid technology, and it utilizes our sixth generation hybrid system. While the hybrid system itself will provide you with seamless hybrid benefit, it is important that you follow the tips provided in this driver's training video to truly maximize the performance and the efficiency of your 195H. So please listen carefully as Jimmy explains the optimal operating procedure for your new Hino 195H. Thanks again for choosing Hino. We truly appreciate your business. Hi, my name is Jimmy and I'm a product trainer with Hino. Today I'd like to take you on a tour of the Hino 195H Cab Over Hybrid and explain some of the hybrid's special features. Along the way, I'll also be providing a number of tips on how to maximize the efficiency of your hybrid truck to help you get the most out of your investment. To start things off, I'd like to point out some of the special features associated with your new 195H. There's the battery charge level indicator that lets you know how much charge the hybrid battery has the eco mode button which helps maximize hybrid efficiency, the start stop indicator lamp which we'll discuss in just a minute, and the driver information display which offers all sorts of useful information to the driver. In just a minute we'll go through each of these features in greater detail and explain exactly how they work. All of these features are intended to assist you in driving economically and to maximize the hybrid effect which consists of efficient energy usage and effective energy regeneration. Maximizing these effects will result in reduced fuel consumption and greater savings over the life of your truck. Now, let's get in the truck and I'll show you exactly how these features work with your 195H in action. Before we start, let's go through a simple checklist to make sure your 195H is set up to maximize the benefits of the hybrid. As you turn the key on, you may notice that the hybrid's electric motor starts up the diesel engine. This will always be the case unless you're in a cold weather climate or the hybrid battery charges below a certain level. In these situations, a traditional engine starter will start the engine. Now that the engine is running, check to make sure that the battery level indicator has a minimum of three bars. If there are less than three bars, the truck will still operate normally but the hybrid motor will not provide electric assist until the battery is charged to at least three bars. Next, make sure that you have the eco mode button engaged. We always recommend that you drive in eco mode unless you operate in hilly conditions on a regular basis. For hilly conditions, we recommend you disengage the eco mode to provide a better balance of power and fuel economy when navigating up and down hills. Next, check to make sure that you have the exhaust brake disengaged. Regenerative braking will help slow the vehicle when you're decelerating and use of the exhaust brake does not allow for effective regenerative braking. Finally, make sure you have the auto start stop button engaged so the truck can save fuel when you're stopped at an idle. Once you've taken a couple of seconds to complete this simple checklist, you're ready to roll. During initial acceleration, Press the accelerator pedal down gradually. The electric motor is designed to assist the engine during takeoff, lessening the load on the diesel engine. Rapid acceleration not only hurts your fuel economy, but it lessens the potential for electric assist. Again, there must be at least three bars of charge for the battery to provide electric assist. As you continue to accelerate, the green eco lamp located just left of the speedometer will let you know when you're driving in the most economical zone. Try to keep the green eco lamp lit as much as possible. Additionally, when you're in the most economical zone, the driver information display will change colors from blue to green. Once you get the truck up to full speed, the hybrid motor will provide less assistance as the diesel engine is now at its most economical zone. As you begin to decelerate and remove your foot from the accelerator pedal, you'll feel the regenerative braking taking place. What happens during the regenerative braking process is the clutch actually disengages from the engine and the momentum from the spinning rear axle is captured as electric energy which is stored in the hybrid battery for later use. Whenever this happens, the driver information display will indicate that the battery is being charged. 
As soon as you take your foot off the accelerator and begin to coast, you'll begin to feel the regenerative braking slowing the truck down. It's important to remove your foot from the accelerator pedal as early as possible to capture as much regenerative braking power as you can and to provide maximum braking assistance as you coast to a stop. Remember, regenerative braking eliminates the need to use the exhaust brake. So in order to maximize the hybrid benefit, the exhaust brake needs to be disengaged. Next, I'd like to show you the hybrid start-stop feature. As mentioned, when you lift your foot off the accelerator pedal or step on the brake, the truck will begin to slow down. When the vehicle's speed reaches zero, the diesel engine will automatically shut off, eliminating unnecessary fuel consumption and the truck's accessories will be powered by electricity from the hybrid battery. Whenever this start-stop mode is engaged, the A lamp will be lit on the instrument panel, letting you know that you're in auto start-stop mode and that the engine is off. When the start-stop feature is activated and the engine shuts down, the ES start lamp comes on, indicating the service brake is set so the vehicle won't creep forward. The start-stop feature will not function in certain situations so don't be alarmed if the engine does not shut down every time you come to a stop. Some of the situations where the start-stop feature will not function are if the turn signals or hazards are on, if you're on an incline of at least 7 degrees, if the battery is below 3 bars, or if the emission control system is performing an active regeneration. In order to keep the engine shut off at an idle, you need to keep your foot on the brake pedal. As soon as you let your foot off the brake, the engine will automatically restart. Note that if the driver accidentally opens the door while the truck is in start-stop mode, an alarm will sound to let the driver know that the truck is still running and in gear. Again, the truck will not creep forward as the service brake is still engaged. When you're ready to go, simply lift your foot off the brake pedal and the engine will restart immediately. As soon as you put your foot back on the accelerator pedal, the truck disengages the service brake and you'll accelerate like you normally would. As with any new technology, making sure you take a little time to learn how the hybrid system functions will help to make sure you get the most out of it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you're now familiar with the new Hino 195H hybrid special features. We're very confident in our new hybrid trucks and we hope that you'll use the tips covered in this video to help you get the most benefit from your hybrid. These EcoDrive techniques can not only help reduce CO2 emissions, but they can minimize your operating costs, making sure you get the most out of your investment. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and we truly hope you enjoy your new Hino hybrid truck.